Hello, my name is Charles Hillman. I'm the designer and lead developer for the indie game company Golden Dragon Studio. We're the group behind the development of the action and adventure RPG titled Silver Symbiosis for the Windows PC. Last time we talked about the personal skill set. Today we will talk about the skill system again. As you may recall, there are four skill sets in all, but today we'll be specifically focusing on the psionic skill set. For those who don't know what psionics are, they're basically psychic powers. In this case, pure psychic energy given physical form. You would not be far off to think of these as your basic combat skills, but one of them can be used for much more than just combat. Psionics only have ten levels and do not level up from experience gained. Instead, they are upgraded by acquiring certain items. These items raise only one skill to a time, but you get to choose which one to apply it to. Having only three skills in it, this is the smallest set by far, but it is also the most important of them all. All psionic skills affect physical enemies, but they also deal an additional 50% more damage to energy beings such as Wraiths or Banshee. First and foremost of the three is the Scion Blade. Extending from your right hand, it is your primary weapon throughout the entire game and can be used in combination with either of the other two. As it levels up, it will change its shape at specific points, these being levels 5 and 10. The initial form is that of a simple blade, but the second form includes a small forearm shield, which then grows in the third form to include a spike extending past the elbow. Secondly, surrounding the left hand is the Scion Shield, which is your only true means of defense. Like in many action-adventure games, but unlike in most RPGs, this must be used to block attacks rather than just passively boosting defense. As it levels up, it does not change its form, but instead simply grows in solidity so that it blocks more of the damage from attacks. By level 10, it can completely block almost all normal attacks. But even then, it can only partially block most energy attacks. This can be used in combination with a Scion Blade only. The third and final psionic skill, extending from the left hand, is the Scion Tether. At level 1, it is used much like the hookshot from the famous Legend of Zelda games. You aim it like a ranged weapon and fire it towards something. It has a limited range, however, a mere 100 feet. You can use it to pull light enemies towards you or yourself towards powerful flyers and or heavy enemies. It deals no damage at all to physical enemies, but energy and spirit enemies are a different matter. They are stunned and take a small amount of damage from contact with it. In addition to combat, this can also be used to draw yourself towards heavy or anchored objects, allowing you to swiftly scale walls and trees. You can also draw light unanchored objects to you, and from level 2 on, it can generate two of, um, tethers at once, one from each hand. Levels 5 or higher, they can even be detached from you and extended to other objects, or it's not extended, attached to other objects um, to temporarily bind them together. If this sounds useless to you, just consider such a thing as binding a strong animal like a bull to a heavy object like a boulder to have it pulled out of your way. As it levels up, the length of the tether stays the same, but it can be maintained for a longer period of time. At level 10, the time limit is removed completely. This wraps up the psionic skill set. Next time, we'll talk about the fusion skill set. But unlike the personal and psionic skills, I won't go into detail as to what they are. Instead, I will simply talk about how you can acquire them. This has been Charles Hillman, signing off. Until next time.